While there are smaller and more portable workstations, today we're having none of that. Instead, here's the Dell Precision 177770, a larger machine with the power for heavy projects and tough work. It's got 55 watts Alder Lake HX series processors, as well as professional graphics, while the RTX 3080 Ti makes an appearance too. With such hardware, you can't expect a lightweight machine, as the Precision 17 weighs above 3 kilograms and has a profile of 26.7 millimeters. On the other hand, it's built like a tank, with aluminum all around the outside. The base uses a softer material like plastic or carbon fiber, which doesn't impact the rigidity whatsoever. The lid opens all the way so it can lay flat on an office table. The bezels are thicker than you'd expect, but then again, you're getting a full HD webcam and a bunch of sensors for facial recognition and auto-awake and login functions. The base houses a full-sized keyboard with a numpad and all the other good stuff, including a power button with an optional fingerprint reader. The keyboard is good for typing, as there's enough key travel and the feedback is uniform and tactile. The touchpad is pretty big despite what the images might show, while the responsiveness and smoothness are okay too. The port selection includes a lot of ports split between the left and right. The left side has two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port, an HDMI 2.1 connector, a LAN port, the power plug, and an optional smart card reader. On the other side, we have an SD card slot, an audio jack, one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port, and one more Type-A port. The Thunderbolt and Type-C ports support power delivery for charging as well as DisplayPort 1.4 output. There are two IPS displays to choose from, including a full HD and a 4K variant. The latter has a 120Hz refresh rate for whatever reasons. We tested the full HD model, which is an excellent display, with great viewing angles and a high max brightness of 526 nits. The panel also completely covers the sRGB color gamut and 99% of the DCI-P3 gamut that's used in digital cinema, so the image is punchy and vibrant at all times. You can switch between the two gamuts through the Dell software. We recommend you stick with DCI-P3 as this is where our design and gaming profile works best, increasing the accuracy to a Delta E value of 0.7, so colors appear true to life. We'll link our display profiles in the description below. The speaker setup isn't perfect, but there are still no significant deviations across the entire frequency range. We say not perfect, as the max volume can be a bit higher. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Alder Lake HX series offers high-performing processors with more cores and a higher 55 watts power limit. We tested the core on 712-850HX, which has 16 cores and 24 threads, which mops the floor with anything from last year, breaking the 20,000-point mark in Cinebench R23. It's more powerful than the ThinkPad P16 Generation 1, which is another heavy-duty workstation machine. There are a lot of GPU options, but we tested the RTX A3000 with a 130 watts power limit. It has the same chip as the RTX 3060, so its performance is pretty similar to that card with a similar power limit. For cooling these components, we've got a dual fan setup with two heat pipes and two heat sinks right above the CPU and GPU. In the stress test, the processor does really well, maintaining 85 watts for more than 15 minutes, while going as high as 101 watts in quick bursts. The GPU doesn't reach its 130 watts limit, instead settling at 115 watts in both short and long runs, so there's performance left on the table. In terms of comfort during intense workloads, Dell is for some reason using the keyboard as a heat vent, pushing hot air through it, as opposed to drawing fresh air to keep things cool. This results in a hot spot of around 49 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, the laptop is surprisingly efficient with its 93 watt-hours battery lasting for 13 hours and 6 minutes of web browsing, 
or 10 hours and 22 minutes of video playback. For upgradability, we find a service hatch that gives you access to one of the four M.2 Generation 4 SSD slots. As for RAM, we've got CAM modules once again, which are a bit harder to upgrade, but increase the capacity up to 128 gigabytes, which is a lot of RAM. Our teardown video shows exactly how to access the CAM module, as well as the four SSD slots. The Dell Precision 177770 is one of the more competent workstations that we've seen, however. With a revamp to the cooling setup, it can truly become unbeatable, as it's got the hardware and the features to be the best. For more information about the Dell Precision 177770, check out the written review on our website.